Hello friends, uh, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. Uh, in this video, I am going to give you more information about uh, introduction to Snow SQL, uh, why SQL and uh, importance of SQL in uh, data warehousing projects. So previous video, I have created a video on uh, Snowflake of free trial creation. You can find one video on how to create a, a Snowflake of account for 30 days free trial to learn a Snowflake and Snow SQL. Then another video I did yesterday on introduction to uh, SQL. So it's the best uh, part before starting our SQL, like we need to create a database, we need to create a table, we need to create a schema, we need to insert some data. So I have given some script also. Then you can use that script to learn, uh, start with a SQL, basic SQL commands. So that we will understand today. Okay. So you can go through my YouTube channel and uh, two videos I did on a snowflake related and today primarily will be uh, focusing on uh, SQL part why SQL importance of SQL so SQL is a common language SQL is not a programming language SQL is a query language structured query language mainly interacting with the databases like if you are having any experience or any traditional databases like Oracle, Teradata, Sybase, any other databases every database any database or whatever rdbms or uh, any database which is using for transaction which is using for analytics right sql is a common language sql is common language it may be transaction or maybe analytics so when it comes to transaction purpose oltp applications so transaction processing databases means OLTP means online transaction processing databases so front-end applications will be there enterprise uh, applications or enterprise planning applications which we will call it as ERPs like SAP, Oracle Apps, Evil, Salesforce, Mainframes or any other banking application or any other retail applications ongoing online transaction data is going to store is going to manage in a back-end databases so that database type we'll call it as transaction processing database that is online transaction processing databases so mainly it will store critical data which day-to-day -day transactions are happening on the particular application detail and up-to-date data will be there latest data will be there and databases mainly here rdbms databases when we talk here structured data okay majorly uh, latest data will be there and uh, when we ever go with the uh, transactions right maybe updates or read so maybe you log into the particular bank account or maybe log into the Amazon right so it will read your customer information your RS information so it is going to read a few records it is going to update few records related to the particular transaction related or particular customer related and that is about when we talk about a transaction databases here also sql is very important any application the backend database and interacting with the databases sql is commonly used language then when we talk about analytics projects data warehouses olap any olap online analytics processing databases mainly decision making uh, database where it will have uh, all historical data different sources data integrated in one place and there also will be using sql only if if you are using a database for transaction purpose if you are using a database for analytics purpose the use case may be anything the common here it is sql without sql we can't interact with the databases sql is a primary language not a programming language it's a query language in, to interact with the databases now, when we talk about a data warehouse projects, obviously we are going to use a SQL language. So warehouse, any data warehouse, on-premises data warehouse or cloud data warehouse, SQL is widely used language for analytics projects. Then when we look at a snowflake or any data warehouse architecture or data end-to-end -end ETL project architecture, Maybe ETL team also should have a basic idea about a SQL, even if they are not using a queries, but at least a SQL to extract data from sources, major sources like databases or any applications data. 
extract, transform, load. As a data engineer or ETL developer, should have an idea about a SQL to extract data from sources, load into warehouse. The source, majority of sources, OLTP systems, and the target is OLAP data warehouse. So, both are databases. If both are databases, they definitely the one and only language is query language, structured query language, SQL. Then analytics team, if they want to read this data and go for dashboards and reports, even they also will be using SQL only. So SQL is a common language for applications, databases, backend, they'll be using a manipulation language or a query language to read data, to write data or update data. Data warehousing projects using ETL tools, so here also SQL language, analytics team also using SQL language. Then when it comes to cloud projects, cloud migration projects, cloud analytics projects, SQL is common. That maybe depends on a warehouse, maybe depends on when it comes to cloud, Azure is having SQL data warehouse, Amazon is having a, uh, their own warehouse, Google is having a own warehouse, so Redshift, BigQuery, then Snowflake. SQL is common. Maybe the functions will vary warehouse to warehouse, means company to company. So Snowflake primarily supports ANSI SQL. When you go to the Azure, Azure SQL, T-SQL also it will support. Little bit functions, function names, their syntaxes will be varying. But the major things are common. Maybe BigQuery or Google BigQuery or Amazon Redshift. So SQL is a common or widely used language for ETL projects any data warehouse projects or any analytics projects if you are maybe playing a data analyst role data engineer role or etl developer the common language is sql so when we look at snowflake projects also the same process maybe snowflake will be there in cloud but your on-premises data will be there in on-premises extraction transformation loading a common concept and the common is sql any data migration project, uh, on-premises to cloud or maybe on-premises to on-premises or cloud to cloud, any migration project, the process will be like this. First, we will evaluate, we'll identify how many sources are there, how much data is there, and uh, how many tables and their business, business uh, data that evaluate, analyzing our analysis, then planning, strategy migration strategy historical migration strategy incremental migration strategy then identifying master data identifying transaction data first master data then transaction data then extract the historical data first clean the data load data into target warehouse then after that verify the data is the data is properly validated loaded in target warehouse then incremental data also any data migration project, the process will be like this. Extraction, but before extraction, uh, analysis and planning is very important step. Mainly uh, earlier business analyst, now solution architect, data modeler, will play a key role when it comes to analyzing and planning. Solution architect and data modeler. Even business analyst also. But nowadays business analyst requirements are going down data analysts are playing key role extraction cleaning loading and verifying etl etl developer or you can say data engineers extract data transform data load data into warehouse then validate the data then this is the end-to-end -end process in any data migration project maybe on-premises to on-premises on-premises to cloud or cloud to cloud but in this process, if you observe carefully, analytics side, unit testing side, validation side, extraction side, transformation side. Data, tables. So data and tables, primary language is SQL. So we will be using a SQL for transaction purpose as well as analytics purpose. So why we need a SQL? SQL is widely used language to interact with the databases. Why to create a database or a tables to create databases and tables, then loading data into those tables, 
or reading data from those tables or delete data from those tables or update data into those tables or remove entire data you can say truncate a table from that table or drop database drop table drop or you can say remove column from a table change data type modifying data type or removing column okay add a column removing column so your use case your requirement may be anything the common language is sql structured query language you can create a database you can create a table you can insert the data you can delete the data update data add column remove column change data type the requirement may be anything the language which we are going to interact with the databases is sql so when it comes to analytics projects or data engineering projects right so we are data engineers we are using sql for data engineering purpose if you are a data analyst or bi team you should know sql because you are going to read data from database so we are going to load data into database so those operations are divided into multiple types data definition language data manipulation data control data retrieval and uh, transaction control so we will understand these all operations in upcoming videos so this is about a today's video just uh, giving high level overview about why we need a sql why we should know sql as a data engineer as a data analyst as a reporting your requirement may be anything maybe you are a tester sql is widely used language to interact with the databases so we are using a data warehouse here so snowflake is one of the data warehouse so how we will interact with snowflake using sql so that will start from another video thank you if you're not a subscribe please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day